for our flight back to Houston and just wanted to give a real quick recap. Our trip in Honduras was amazing. We shared the gospel with just over 2,400 people uh, from schools to homeless to churches to the barrio. We did performances. We had teamed up with other missionaries from Guatemala and Costa Rica and missionaries who are here in Houston or Honduras as well. And we definitely plan on continuing this work. We have been asked to come back out already in March or April for a big festival. And we've just been able to see so many amazing things, see the love of Christ overflow into this area. This is who we teamed up with, Jose. What's up? Out here in Honduras, we're gonna keep this going and we're just gonna keep showing the love of Christ everywhere we go. Okay, so I think the trip was both. I think it was um, a lot for me and I really found it true that um, when you give everything to Jesus, man, he, he will give you your heart's desire. There was a, there was a moment where we were in the mountains and I've, I've never been outside the country. I've never, um, yeah, I never traveled outside the country. And I think what God was trying to show me was just the reality of, of him taking care of, taking care of everything once you surrender your life to him. Um, I think the biggest thing for me on this trip, you know, minus the people that were touched, we saw people healed um, just last night, saw people delivered. Um, but I think throughout the whole trip, you know, the, the concerts that we did, the ministry opportunities that we had, God showed me what it was like. Um, God showed me that this is the moment that I've, I've prepared for you. And so the biggest thing for me was just the fruits that I saw of giving everything to Jesus. And uh, you know, when you go on trips like this, you're thinking about how can you touch people? How can you um, minister to people? How can you leave this trip without um, not feeling like you came in vain? Um, but there's so much, there's so much love here. It's a different culture where um, as much as, you know, I feel like we were blessing to them, they were also blessing to, to us. And so um, I just encourage anybody watching this that give everything to Jesus, you know, and watch what he does in, in your life. First off, I just want to say thank you so much for all of those um, of you that supported us, whether it be um, praying, whether it be financially, however it was. Um, I just personally appreciate you so much because without that, I wouldn't be here, wouldn't have had this opportunity to come here. Um, it was life changing. Uh, I, I went to Honduras in 2010 and this experience was nothing like my first experience. Um, and honestly, um, I could surrender everything and move here. Um, it was that, it was that amazing. Um, there's just so much love here. And um, I'm just, again, so grateful that I have the opportunity to be here. So thank you. And uh, hopefully we'll be back. Man, I wanna just say as this recap video that this experience was amazing. You know, Honduras has a special place in my heart now. Got an opportunity to connect with my bro. Joseph, man, uh, I was talking to his mom, who's a pastor here, and she said that uh, his testimony was so powerful, how he was born uh, not alive, but God brought him back to life. And, you know, the, the, the testimony that was prophesied in his life was he was a prophet to all the nations. And out of all places to go, for me to be able to meet him here and impact so many uh, students and families and different people in the community, uh, it really blessed me, man. And so I'm glad to connect with him. I'm glad to connect with people here in Honduras. And I'm just, it wouldn't have been the same without the whole team and everything that we did here together to make it possible. So Honduras DTS has definitely made sure that there will be no new place left. All right, everybody. Just giving you a little recap of what went on this week. Just want to thank God, first of all. Thanks, Eyes on Me. DTS, Hip Hop Old Missions. Uh, they send four servants out here to serve with us. As you can tell, my voice is gone. But it's who's out there school assembly, making concerts, sharing the gospel. Um, we had Out the Box Church. We had Hip Hop Hope. And this is my brother Jesus. 
who was God sent. He's been uh, taking us around and it's been a blessing. Uh, we got to visit a lot of places and we served over 2,000 youth and we had like three or four salvations and plus more. A lot more got ministered uh, to Jesus. I don't know if you want to share something with you. So again, I just want to thank God and uh, thank size on me. And whoever wants to come, come. We'll be ready for you. Let us know the dates. We'll have school assembly. We'll, we'll, we'll have it together. Just come in us and take a lot of money. Um, and you'll have a good, good time. Thank you and God bless you. acercarse un poquito por favor lo que se pueda verdad lo que pueden acercarse ahí se vamos a continuar con la música pero vamos a dar un testimonio nada más quiero empezar que Jesús ama a cada uno de ustedes And I am here today aquí hoy to share with you what Jesus has done in my life. Para compartir contigo lo que Jesús ha hecho en mi vida. My parents divorced when I was eight. Mi se divorciaron cuando tenía ocho. And years later, my mom married my stepdad, who was an abusive and crooked police officer. Y años después, mi mamá se casó con un policía que de verdad no, no era bueno. So I grew up in a very dysfunctional home. Y crecí en una casa and at a young age, I started using drugs. Y de una edad pequeña, a usar droga. And by the time I was in my 20s, I was homeless on the street. Viviendo en las calles. And I had also been incarcerated 13 times. Y ha ido a la cárcel 13 veces. Two felonies and 11 misdemeanors. Dos felonías y once eh, marchas. And when I was in the last time, y cuando fue la última vez, someone introduced me to the Bible. Alguien le dio una Biblia. And it was there that God began to renew my mind. Y era ahí donde Dios empezó a trabajar en su mente. And I knew when I got out, y sabía que cuando salía, if I didn't change my life, si no cambiaba su vida, 
Tal vez iba a terminar en la cárcel por toda su vida o muerta en, la, en las calles. Y era cuando ella entregó su vida a Jesús. Pero ella quiere que tú sepas que tú no tienes que estar en la cárcel para que estés en, en la cárcel en tu mente. Podemos estar encarcelados por los pensamientos de depresión, de miedo, de preocupación, de confusión. Pero yo quiero que tú sepas que ni una de esas cosas es lo que Dios tiene para tu vida. Cualquiera, ustedes, alguien sabe los frutos del Espíritu? ¿Ustedes? Sí, sí. Poquito nomás acá. Véngase, véngase. We got somebody that knows. Ok. Y puede compartir con que sea uno o dos. Amor, fe, bondad, mansedumbre, templanza, gozo, paz, benignidad. Wow, un aplauso. Yeah. So anytime that you are out of the fruits of the spirit. So cualquier tiempo que tú estás afuera de esos frutos del espíritu. And you're in the enemy's territory. So estás en el en la área del enemigo. En ese tiempo, dile Dios, yo quiero estar para atrás contigo. Tráeme para atrás a ti. Los amo mucho a ustedes. Un aplauso, un aplauso.
Okay, 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 okay,